getting to slope intercept form. So there are other types of forms uh, of linear equations. The one that we want to really use is y is equal to mx plus b. So we want y on one side and everything else on the other. But sometimes you'll come across other forms of linear equations, the point-slope form, which is y minus y sub 0 is equal to m times x minus x sub 0. And that y sub 0 and x sub 0 are given coordinates, a given ordered pair. m is still the slope. And then you may have a, a general form which is ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are all constants, uh, with a and b not equal to 0. So let me just show you a, a numerical example of this. So all three of these equations say the same exact thing. If we were to graph the xy combinations that satisfy each of these equations, we'd be graphing the same exact thing. In other words, y is equal to 2x plus 10 is the same exact thing as saying y minus 18 is equal to 2 times x minus 4, which is the same exact thing as saying negative 2x plus y minus 10 equals 0. So whenever we're given an equation that sort of looks, well, looks nothing like a slope-intercept form, we want to rearrange it and use our rules of algebra to get to slope-intercept form. In other words, we want to solve for y. We want to isolate it on the left-hand side and put everything else on the right-hand side. So whenever we're given an equation that's not in this slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we want to solve for the dependent variable, that y variable. This is the same thing as saying solving for a specified variable. It just means manipulating the given equation using algebra to express one variable in terms of other variables and parameters. And we do this because we generally graph the dependent variable on the y-axis. So that's why we solve for the dependent variable. So for example, suppose you have y minus 18 equals 2 times x minus 4. What we want to do is get that y all by itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 18 to both sides. Remember, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. And that yields y equals 2x plus 10 after simplifying. Or suppose we're given an equation that looks like this. This is that general or standard form. Negative 2x plus y minus 10 equals 0. So again, I'm going to use some algebra to manipulate this equation and get y by itself. So now I'm going to add 2x and 10 to each side, and that will yield y is equal to 2x plus 10. So just a summary of the rules for manipulating equations from algebra. We can simplify an expression by removing grouping symbols and combining like terms. So for example, if you have 5x plus 3x on one side, you can just say that that's 8x. You can add or subtract the same real number or variable expression on both sides of the equation or multiply or divide by the same non-zero quantity on both sides of the equation. You can use exponents to simplify if necessary. You can always interchange the two sides of the equation. The main thing to remember is that whatever you apply, whatever mathematical operation you like, uh, you, you do to an equation, you must do the same thing to both sides. So using those rules of manipulation, you can follow these steps to solve for a specified variable. So in other words, if you have x and y and z and all of this stuff on one side of the equation, but you want to isolate y, you can simplify the algebraic expressions on each side by removing grouping symbols and combining like terms, basically using those rules on the previous slide. Collect that dependent or specified variable on the left-hand side and everything else on the other side using the rules of manipulation and then isolate the variable if it's not already isolated by this step. Quiz yourself for each question, uh, for each equation below, solve for y. 3x plus 8y equals 100 minus 2y minus x, uh, and then half of a y equals 10 minus 3 quarters y minus 2x. Pause the video before looking at the answers. So for the first equation, you should have gotten y is equal to 10 minus 2 fifths x. For the second one, y is equal to 8 minus 8 fifths x. 